Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lemmy and Finistra, and today we were going to talk about good versus evil. And like Michelle said on her video, and it was there in a cameo role with it, um, it's a topic that's a little too complicated for a lot of people to grok, especially um, since we don't really see much. Um, easily defined examples either one so I want to talk about something a little different um, I've always worked with on the spiritual sp um, topics and so for that reason I wanted to you know always have a channel to just discuss spirituality but I think that because given the fact that good versus evil is just it's just so common first of all part of the problem is it's so common everybody talks about it okay Everybody talks about it. Go into any go into any Christian church, you hear about it. Force people to tears. So I guess you know I'm not gonna go there. Um, besides that, we also have the sun is starting to kick in. So I have to it's because you know the sun's going down. So what's happening is is in, in in a little bit of time you're gonna see the light is gonna be like way over here right on my face. Like that, and then it's gonna it's gonna really look washed out. So I'm gonna try to, for that reason, keep it short. Cause we try to get a lot of different videos in, uh, two videos a day, and uh, it also takes time to transcode these. And Michelle's done her first, so she gets the first time with the transcoder. Now, um, so let me I should ask you the same question Michelle asked in her channel, which is, is what do you want to really talk about? You know kinds of themes interest you what kind of stories you know uh you know about people interest you about spirituality if spirituality even interests you some people i don't think it really does i think that for a lot of good reasons um so we need to um you know discuss that um I can tell you that science um, in controlled experiments of killing rats and mice have demonstrated that they can, they think, cause um, excessive firing of the synapses of the brain 10 minutes after the hearts are stopped of the animals. Um, but I, I think that's kind of sad, but you know, it doesn't prove anything. They said the same does not happen to human beings after they die. So. There's a question about what that is. Um, and that's because science is trying to prove or disprove the near-death experience. And um, so that's, that's going to be interesting if they could actually finally prove or disprove it. I would like to see the answer either way because, you know, it's it's just, you know, it's it's just would be fascinating to be able to say either way okay yes there is this near-death experience yes there really is dying yes some and many do see the tunnel yes many sometimes see the relatives and yes some relatives in the hospital room at the time of death have seen that same thing as um you know outside participants so I think that there's something there, but I don't really know enough about um, this case studies to really give you an answer other than what I have read so far, which is, you know, pretty hard to find. Some things, finding conclusive objective evidence is like trying to, you know, find is very difficult. Now, as we will be uh, me and Michelle are going to be working on more videos and things, but I haven't had a chance to redesign my introductory video yet. Part of the problem is, is like Michelle said, is that um, there's if you want to have a musical introduction, if this Senate Bill 978 passes, um, you can forget it because um, you could end up having a, going to jail just for putting a piece of music on there. Um, 
without the proper licensing. But YouTube, you know, you can help here too, you know. If you know that a certain song has to have a copyright license, it, instead of just saying, you know, telling us the name of the licensee, why don't the licensees in YouTube work together and actually make a page where you can use your PayPal card or whatever to buy the license for the music instead of basically making it so difficult to get the music. At least that way it shows up on your record of, of YouTube that you did buy the music and you get his license for presentation on your video. Problem solved. And of course, since it comes right off our PayPal card or MasterCard Visa, we also have our seat as well to prove that we indeed did buy the rights to use that music. Now, as I said, it's going to, this one is getting ready to go down. When it does, it's going to be over here. And uh, so now I'm going to start looking like a cheese grater because of the Venetian blinds. So, like that. Yeah. So I really got to hurt. Make it quick. So, want to hear from you. Want to know what you want to talk about. If you have some information you want me to share with you, please pass me the URL. A brief summary of it and on the comments or email, which is l-u-m-i-f-i-n-i-s-t-r-a at gmail.com that's l-u-m-i-f-i-n-i-s-t-r-a at gmail.com and of course you can reach me at uh, that address or you can reach me by our public phone number which is area code 860-469-2821 again that's 860-469-2821 and there, you could um, ask me questions or whatever. Please speak slowly and clearly. And you call that number and you get the voicemail, which is actually get Michelle's message on it. Um, and just say who it's for. And we will listen to it. And we will try our best to get back to you when we through so one of the means that you give. If you uh, can also send us text messages directly by texting the same phone number it's a google voice it's a google voice number so it's it's really pretty cool and lastly of course is we would love to have you check out our public it's a public page but it's not on maintained by any outside server site this is actually maintained for a computer in our own house we have a, a, a website it's http colon forward slash forward slash p i n k r o s e dot d h i s dot o r g so that's pink rose dot d h i s dot o r g that's the full website name just go there and check out uh some of the biogra biographies about me and michelle and uh things like that we're gonna be putting some more videos up i know michelle wants to work on that too uh in the next few months so we'll see what we can do and we also you know want love to have you come hang out with us um we know chris pearl had a blogger fair in seattle well we want to try something a little smaller than that we'd like to have um a, a, maybe arrange to get together with people and see if we can have um a hangout in person here in Winstead so that people can actually come and meet me and Michelle and actually talk to us. And we're thinking about McDonald's only because McDonald's is the least expensive and it's got the most amount of room available to it. Um, we could go to ABC Pizza, which is also good. Um, actually, I kind of like the ABC Pizza myself. Yeah, I do too. Mm, I knew you would. But it's also expensive. I mean, pizzas are, you know, about like fourteen dollars for a cheese, large cheese, large. Uh, yeah, large, sixteen for extra large, I think. Yep, for cheese pizza with one topping. So the point is, is that I think you're right, Lum. I think a gathering would be great. Yeah, I think it would be wonderful. So here's what we want to know from you folks because i don't have a car michelle and Lumi doesn't have a car we have to walk everywhere or take our trike here's what we need to know 
Please give us the name and location that you would like to have this gathering. Of course, we've got a few months. I haven't signed any contract with anybody yet for catering or whatever. So, why don't you get in contact with Lumi here? Yep. And tell me and Michelle where you would like to have a get-together. And um, given the number of people that are interested in having a hangout... This will give us a chance to figure out where the best place to make this happen and how. Absolutely. And that's a great idea. And don't forget to like and share my video and mine. And we will always be appreciative of that because, you know, this is your chance to finally tell us what you want to see. We've always been open to that. So don't forget that. So don't forget that we hear from we want to hear from you. Okay? Bye bye.